everyone i'm back with another video and in today's video we're gonna be up against uh admin general zebs and uh i don't know keijulu topo what i i don't know what but and i'm gonna be with night soul and little princess so yeah as you guys can see right here we're vastly outnumbered or not outnumbered outranked all right and the uh, map is port of bjorn Okay, and now of course, uh, of course, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, and ring the bell icon to be notified of any content coming from my channel. Without further ado, let's go jump straight into it. Yay! Okay, so I'm going to be the yellow, Night Soul will be the red, and green will be Little Princess. Okay, so let's go. All right, now, of course, construction boost, power plant, supply center, or supply center, power plant, and then the rest are added later on. And then, of course, the barracks. One barracks uh, <clears throat> at this side of the map since, well, you don't really have to compete against so many containers. One factory to unlock the shipyard. Same thing goes for my partners around here. Although, the red guy or the red player can actually opt out for both a hybrid of land, uh, land and... Uh, shipyard or ocean just a little bit of both just to of course support the green and the yellow okay so go again R prototype facility those kymas are gonna have to be popping out anytime now gathering the containers on the ocean of course okay super container appearing right here and uh, right here as well in here okay let's see how this is going Coyotes are actually used here to, of course, zone out those infantries and getting rid of them. Cerberus right here. And then we got like a, a chunk of deltas going on around here. And I've actually switched to common attack boost. In the meantime, I'm also helping out trying to get this container right here. Although I only got one. Now, I'll basically lose the engagement right over here. But, of course, with the exception of the uh, CN player spending majority of his resources for additional deltas. And as we both know, deltas are actually more expensive than that of the Kaimans. Alright, now I already got HQ level 3, adding more supply centers here on my end. Two more supply centers. And then, of course, I'm going to have to use a common production boost as I really wanted to get that container. However, given the uh, distance of my what my Kaimans are going to travel to get there, it's not going to be enough. Okay, what a very good scout here by Little Princess with that wasp going on right there. This guy going HQ level 3. This guy already got like shipyard and I assume that this is going HQ level 3 as well. Okay, my uh, wasp was destroyed by that delta. Okay, fast forward a bit now. HQ level 3, X facility being built. Going on to the blue player's base. No ocean, just one platform. And Seraphim rush it is. Okay very interesting so that blue guy is opting out for a uh, well a full land army composition and both the yellow and the purple or the cn and the purple are going for the ocean going right around here this uh, cerberus is causing some mayhem and are now being targeted by that hawk now i already anticipated this attack coming right here and since i had like a lot of claimants it's time to build what we call a Kaiman wall this is to prevent those deltas from passing through as I don't really have enough platforms to destroy them all before they even get past this shore or shoreline. And there you go. Just like that, the walls or the Kaimans acted as a wall to prevent that from happening as an additional firepower and a very big obstruction to prevent that from happening. Okay, finally that Cerberus has been destroyed with a Jaguar, Hawk, and a Wasp from little princess and night soul now i did not really rush out um you know i did not really rush uh alligatoras since uh, this guy will basically have to sum up some units first before he can do that and i can definitely build up some platforms to of course you know to defend myself with okay kaimans are now gonna get into position to scout seraphim here will be zoned out by those hawks so uh, that's actually a nice uh, defense there by a uh, little princess right there. Deltas are coming over here. Vertex from the blue. And yeah, we see here Wolverine, two Jaguars, and four Porcupines. 
and are now going to have to try and get rid of that annoying vertex there you go very good there very good going hq4 as night soul and then of course hq4 already from little princess and uh adding more airfields and a little bit of uh shipyard right there in the meantime i'm gonna go full navy with three shipyard and i'm just gonna have to produce that leviathan before i can go spam on those uh shipyards or alligatoras so as i mentioned earlier the lack of protection will uh, be compensated by the platforms and of course i can produce three alligators at a time to defend myself with okay going a prototype facility level three okay spreading the achievements around the map to gain view and avoid any surprise attacks that may come my way looking at it here purple prayer is looming in this corner right here to of course attack night soul and gather that super container or yeah that big container right there okay gonna have to try and capture that container going on in there but yeah purple again is gonna go for it so i'm not really able to get that super container because of course of the presence of those uh, vikings and then of course delta vikings here from the cn player no nope. what a good scout right there by uh made by the blue player leviathan is already out here for me one av factory is just to produce some form of aviation like that of the helicopter Okay, super container, I'm going to have to try and get it. However, the uh, Sion players, the uh, Vikings are already here. And uh, yeah, things are not looking good here, as you guys can see. And it really took me quite some time to get it, even with the gold scouting boost. So I'll just get one and then the rest are history. Delta and Viking from the Sion player. Going over here, I'm going to have to try and be annoying. Destroying some Deltas around there. And now I'm going to go spam the Alligatoras because my Leviathan is already out. Okay. I'm going to have to mix it in with the uh, Dragonfly as well. Going back on the action right here. Scout made by Little Princess saw what the purple player is going for both ocean and, well, land. And then going HQ level 5. What a very bold move. Okay. So yeah, that's actually a very informative, informative scout right there. Little Princess also making his own uh, Viking. And then, of course, the majority of his forces are going to be composed of um, Hawks. We got some engagement right here with some Poseidons. Okay. There you go. I'm going to have to try and get rid of as many Vikings as I can so I can get on those, uh, get to those Poseidons later on. Now, if you guys notice, I'm actually maneuvering my uh, alligators to destroy those annoying Vikings. Kablooey! Leviathan Nuke really helped out in terms of getting rid of some of the Vikings. Reinforcement here on my end, newly produced alligators making its way around here. And we're now going to have to try and get rid of some of the Alligatora. Okay, those Deltas are actually helping out acting as an anti-air and additional firepower from the ocean. From this uh, CM player. Okay, purple player making his way around here. That dragonfly scout there is a genius move. Okay, again, trying to somewhat decimate as many Vikings as I can and maneuver my alligators away from that reinforcement. Okay, since the Vikings cannot really attack um, air or aviation, I'm going to have to maneuver my Leviathan and dragonfly. To somewhat attack as many vikings as i can to at least weaken them up or destroy them in the process meanwhile i'm gonna have to get my alligators in formation to of course soak up um an engagement now if you may have noticed some majority of the vikings are not facing my alligators so i'm gonna have to fire at them since they can only use their cannons not the torpedoes or not including the torpedoes and again poseidons are already in range however there's only one poseidon and that's clearly not enough other Poseidon is still outside the range of its anti-air, positioning my dragonflies on hold right here to intercept some fighters. Little princess helping out with his Leviathan. Okay, again I'm going to have to retreat as a, there's like like five Vikings right around there. Okay, two Leviathans against two Vikings. It's not really looking good for our confed uh, chump right here. Kablooey! Okay, another nuclear dropping here on my end. 
Hawk to follow up. Boo! Severely damaging those of Poseidons. Okay, Hawks to finish them up. And of course, alligators in the... No, uh, Leviathan and uh, Dragonfly are here to soak up the damage so that those Hawks will not be targeted by the Poseidons. If you guys may have noticed, yep, only one Poseidon outside the range of my Dragonfly and Wasp. Uh, um, yeah, Dragonfly and Leviathan can fire at the Hawk. Okay, so non-stop reduction here on my end with the Alligators and then of course... Using a recovery boost to recover the HP of my Dragonfly or every unit that I have right here. Meanwhile, we see a very good concave or blockade here. Meat grinder, as they say, from Night Soul with the Leviathan, Anti-Air, Mammoths, Wolverine, Porcupine, and a little bit of a Jaguar. A ton of Anti-Air, I have to say. And then, of course, a Measly Scout right here. Going over here, we see Purple and Cian player going their way in terms of making as many Vikings as they can. Serafima making its way around here. Oh, wow. Okay, so Night Soul is going to get attacked from this location instead. Good thing he actually saw that ahead of time. We see engagement right here. Vikings, obviously against the rank 22 alligators, it's not going to be a good thing. And not going to be a good thing, man. Okay, now positioning my alligators in a straight line, and then I'm actually trying to do that thing again. Which actually had me won a ton of battles because of the Dragonfly Wasp Leviathan combo. Which always sneaks at the back of the base or at the side of the base. You know, while keeping the army of the enemy busy or keeping their attention outside the base. Alright, so we see some purple player right here. Uh, typhoons, typhoons going over here, and then the blue player coming over here, and so we see a big engagement finally happening right here, and then that Seraphine will definitely be destroyed. However, there's like a ton of go. Oh, dude, there's like a two prong attack from coming from two bridges. Oh, disgusting damage. Oh, lord. Okay, now that shield right there, and we also have a battle a naval engagement right here. Yeah, a lot of things going on, and then the purple Vikings attacking from that location. Nuclear has been dropped from that Leviathan from Night Soul, and then the Hawks are here to finish the Solaris. And then, of course, there's also an army from the purple player, and also a Viking shenanigan right there. However, my naval engagement right here is actually looking very good here, with three alligators at a time, providing, um, well, decimating everything here. Meanwhile, I'm going to have my Leviathan and Wasp Dragonfly sneak at the very edge of the map at the very top, making its way to the CN player's base and causing some real damage. Okay, let's go back here and uh, see what's going on. Thors as well? What the? Okay, I guess something was bombed. Okay, those Hawks are making quick work out of those. Uh, Zeus, however, there's like a chunk of them. Okay. And then, um, Little Princess trying to help out here, destroy as many, um, things as he can with that Leviathan and Alligators flanking from the side. Now, obviously, majority of my army around here will be destroyed. However, it's not really going to be looking good for this CN player right here as my army of LWD actually made its way to the CN player's base and already punched up a lot of units. Now, due to the presence of the Thors, there are less Vikings or Vertex from this blue player. Okay, Seraphim has been reproduced by this blue player and have been... Actually took care of that uh, Leviathan. Night Soul is actually in shambles right here and... Oh, man! Things are not looking good. I actually managed to take out the HQ of the CM player, preventing any, more, any further constructions or buildings from this CM player. So that's all the Vikings you can get until you rebuild that HQ. I'm going after that construction yard, preventing the uh, shipyard or the uh, HQ from being built elsewhere or base expansions. Okay, Little Princess trying to help out here, destroy as many Vikings as it can, swimming, swinging back and forth between the Zeus and the Viking. Oh man, okay, there's only two Zeus here. Oh, one Seraphim will not really. I'm not going to be afraid of one Seraphim, my man, even if it's 1v1. Yeah. 
Okay, so this base has been obliterated. No more important infrastructure except for the power plant or admin buildings right there. Okay, Delta's trying to help in. Purple trying to help in. Oh man, those stores, let's see them in action. What are they going to bomb? Oh, okay, I see now. They actually bombed the um, prototype facility. Very good. Hawk interception. However, there's that one thing called the Solaris. And now my Wasp Dragonfly Leviathan is still here trying to cause a mayhem and are now heading toward the Purple Blayer base. Okay, my alligators are going back here to, of course, help out a Night Soul with the defense against the Navy of the Purple. Oh man, this is not looking good here. Not looking good. There are vertex around here. Now, anti air being produced by this Purple player. And then, of course, I'm just gonna have to drop the nuke on that, destroying the anti air along with the X facility. Boom! Down goes that Haymaker, man. Okay, now Heavy Assault is actually a very smart move along with one special vehicle factory. However, it's still not going to be enough as there is a ton of Dragonflies here which is quite good against infantry along with the Leviathan and Wasp. Okay, down goes that special vehicle factory. And then of course the Deltas preventing more Vikings from being produced. Okay, and now I'm going to have to try and get rid of that. Uh, factory right there or barracks there's like two vertex around here which is clearly not enough against my uh, Leviathan so switching to air raid boost now okay and then of course my Leviathan is also covered by that uh, <coughs> wasp passive okay very very good boom down goes that vertex all right Delta's trying to hit trying to help out here Okay, two Vertex has been destroyed by my Leviathan, and we're just focusing on that HQ at this point. Scout made here by Little Princess, and I'm also trying to amass my alligators over here in the hopes of finishing this game, or both the CN and the Purple player. Blue player is still here, causing some damage to Night Soul in the form of attack in the barracks. Alright, going back over here. Little Princess making an attempt to destroy that construction yard, preventing... Those air, air, I mean, anti air from being uh, uh, finished. Okay, and now they're targeting the HQ. No more HQ level 5 here. However, that Seraphim really made its number on my Leviathan as my Leviathan is badly bruised up. Yep, and it's GG at this point. Okay, so yeah, I mean, with a small number of investment, that attack costs severely. Delaying both uh, players army production and destroying majority of their infrastructure While I go amass the alligators here on my end more alligators more alligators here on my end pouring in To the CN players base and of course see uh, little princess actually got rid of those um, HQ or that HQ from the CN player preventing again any construction of additional torpedo platforms and production of additional Vikings and here we go now. I'm gonna have to try and finish this. Just look at the army here. Just look at the numbers of alligators here. Keep in mind that the purple player has zero HQ, and just now I believe it's now HQ level three due to the boost of uh, HQ reserve. Scout going on here. Okay, HQ level three, so he can put up four platforms around there and produce some. Vikings There you go my man very good there will be no Poseidons here and then of course a Safe chunk of army here from night soul to defend any form of land with the grenadier mammoth porcupine and jaguars along with the uh, little princess uh, leviathan and here we go now after demolishing the shoreline, I'm going to have to head straight towards the purple player's base and demolish everything that he has for himself. Hawks here trying to pitch in with the assist. Let's see how this goes. Getting rid of those platforms. Very good. Shipyards are now going to disappear. Okay. There you go. 
Now this uh, sea ant player will have nothing to defend himself with or build or whatever. This guy right here can only defend due to the presence of this alligators from Little Princess and of course my partner or my end the the crab Tracy crab Yaman yeah, crab yay all right so with good teamwork we actually prevailed regardless of the rank disadvantage so yes again guys if you enjoyed this action fact uh, battle please make sure to subscribe smash the like button ring the bell icon to be notified of any content and don't forget to check out my previous videos as i do have guides for well how can you build fast how you can uh, you know like how you can collect the containers fast how you can control vertex or hawks and so on all right thank you guys so much for watching have yourself a great day and good luck with your battle this my man you my man is the mvp mvp yay yay resistance in boy okay we see here a battle okay last ditch effort Boom! Oh, wow. Okay. That rank 22, though. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. I want to see this in action. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Boom! Ah. Satisfaction, man. Boomgasm. <laughs> Alright. So, yes. Bye.